Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on the gradients of straight line graphs. So this is the second video on this topic and we'll be covering another key skill and an example question. Uh, so first off let's look at horizontal and vertical lines. And um, we'll cover horizontal lines first. So horizontal lines are given in the form y equals a. So that means that there's a constant y value. Uh, in other words, for all values of x, the y value is the same. And then for vertical lines, the opposite is the case. So those are in the form x equals a. So that means that for all y values, x is the same. So if we have a look at this example question, draw the graphs of x equals 1 and y equals 2. Uh, well, here we have a horizontal and a vertical line. So which one's which? Uh, well, x equals 1. Uh, that's in the form x equals a. So that's a vertical line. And uh, y equals 2. That's a horizontal line because it's in the form y equals a, uh, where a is 2 in this case. Uh, so we'll draw the horizontal line first. Uh, so y equals 2. All you have to do is go to the y value of 2 and draw a line perpendicular to the axes at that point. So it should look something like this. So we can label that y equals 2. And then if we go to the uh, vertical line, which is x equals 1, we do the same thing, but this time we go to the x-axis, go to the value of 1, and draw a line that is perpendicular to the axes at that point. So any time where you're given a question where you have to draw a graph, just make sure you add your labels to the graphs, like so. So if we move on and have a look at an example question now. So here we're finding the gradient of a line through two points. We have to work out the gradient of the straight line that passes through the points 2, 3 and negative 10, 6. So these can be our x1, y1 and x2, y2 coordinates respectively. And then if you remember the gradient, which is equal to the change in y divided by change in x, we can write as y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So our y2 value then is 6 and our y1 is 3. So the gradient is 6 minus 3 divided by our x, x2, which is negative 10 minus x1 which is 2. Uh, so if you do those sums that should come out as 3 divided by minus 12 uh, which you can rewrite as minus a quarter. So the gradient is mi uh, minus a quarter. If you'd like to see some practice questions on the gradients of straight lines then you can take our online exam. Uh, there you'll find plenty of different questions, a variety of question types and all of them will give you instant feedback. Uh, so you can keep track of the areas that you're weakest on and where you need to improve. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it'll take you straight there.